Storm Track Weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. It's 515 here on this Thursday morning and we are watching some storms here across portions of the area again. This is a look out of our Holton camera. Now I have noticed, even though it's probably not going to do it right when I'm talking about it, but I have noticed an increase in our frequency of lightning here on our Holton camera as we were waiting to come back into the show. So that usually means that we're probably seeing uh, an uptick in the intensity of some of those storms here this morning. 70 degrees currently in Topeka though. We're not seeing any of that rain here in the capital city. Winds are out of the east at five miles an hour right now. So you can see there's a look at that complex of storms and I bet what we're looking at is from the lightning in that southern uh, portion of this complex here that's moving throughout portions of uh, Pottawatomie County. We're probably seeing that heavier rain near Onega right now, maybe closer to Westmoreland and then seeing some of those uh, scattered showers a little bit back further off to the south and west. So yeah, Onega picking up on that heavy rain currently, uh, probably seeing that getting close to Corning. Vermilion still picking up on some rain right now, along with Centralia and Axtell. Seneca also getting into that moderate to heavy rainfall too. So that's the main takeaway with any storms that we see not only this morning, but later this afternoon too, where we could see that heavier rain being the, the biggest threat that we're going to be watching for. So future check starts at 7 a.m. So go throughout this afternoon. We'll likely see those showers and storms increasing in coverage again with the heat of the day. Best chance I think for heavier rain this afternoon will be in the western half of the area, but can't rule out showers and storms in the east either. Just uh, it just appears that we're going to have a better chance for that heavier rain, especially towards the west. So we'll be watching that closely. Uh, that's good news for our eastern counties that picked up those really crazy rainfall totals on Tuesday night. Coming up for Friday afternoon, kind of a similar story where we see those showers and storms developing in the afternoon hours, fizzling out once the sun sets, and then we're looking at mainly clear skies for Saturday morning. A few more storms possible later on Saturday afternoon and into the early evening as well. So weather pattern really not changing a whole lot over the coming days. Our winds are still relatively light out of the south and southeast, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's exactly where they're going to stay throughout the rest of the day. We may see some stronger winds at times, maybe around 10 or 15 miles per hour but then we'll see those dropping back again heading into the overnight. That's going to give us warmer temperatures too, so we're already very mild, mid to upper 60s to closer to 70 in a couple spots. 70 degrees on the dot there in Topeka. We're at 69 at Concordia and 68 in Manhattan, Emporia, and Hiawatha. Later on this afternoon, we'll be seeing our temperatures climbing into the middle, even upper 80s for some, dropping back into the mid 60s tonight. Same thing for tomorrow, mid to upper 80s. And we're just going to continue that trend with warm temperatures, afternoon storm chances all the way through the weekend here. Uh, we'll start to see some drier weather though by Sunday and especially Monday and Tuesday. So you don't have to go changing your plans for the weekend. Just keep an eye on the radar. There will be some chances for those storms through the afternoon and evening hours. We do have warmer temperatures on the way for Monday and Tuesday climbing up into the lower 90s.